Me gone, Duke. This smart ass dog just flips this goddamn thing over. Welcome to the channel rather dubiously called Rufio. I'm the best Yugi tuber in my street, a very average player who uses this platform to trick you into thinking I'm good at and capable of playing Yu-Gi-Oh on any kind of level at all. Before we get started, why don't you hit subscribe for me, even if it's not because you secretly enjoy bad content, but because you pity me. I need every bit of help I can get. Hi guys, Joe here from Rufio. Welcome to the Return to Locals Vlog 2 Electric Boogaloo. We are on, for Rise of the Dawglist, the premiere event. It's kind of like the sneak peek replacement. So this will be a new one for all of us. I'm just waiting for Jam Jam to come get me. Uh, so we're then going to head off, meet up with all the other Tuggers, go get some Chung Lai breakfast and head on over to Locals. So this man comes to pick me up and just casually has a fucking SNES in his boot, uh, which is just weird. You US guys will think I'm weird as well, because you've only seen one of these bad boys before, because you got the, uh, what would they call them, the Famicom, didn't they? Little purple bad boy. And he's got a random Xbox 360 and then all the swag in here. Say hello. Hello. We have a pointer of the Red Lotus himself here, Mr. Krabs. How do you feel about your daughter calling you Mr. Krabs? Uh, it's devastating. <laughs> Absolutely devastating. So Jam Jam has just got me and of course we're talking about Mr. Krabs. So for those of you who want a little bit of backstory of the Tuggers, uh, this man here is like Mr. Krabs. Just obsessed with money. Money, 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 money. And funnily enough when he drinks a bottle of wine, apart from the fact that he tries to, uh, what, what's the word we use, groom Liam, he also goes very, very red which just makes him even more like Mr. Krabs. Indeed. To the point where Henman has <laughs> taught his own door up <laughs> to call him Mr. Krabs. <laughs> Look at this fucking chunkus. You're only jealous that you don't have one of those fans. <laughs> that is powered by children's blood. <laughs> Ask Prince Andrew. He knows all about it. What are you laughing at? This is not funny. It's people's lives we're talking about here. Uh... Adam Black, the guy who laughs at Prince Andrew's actions. Disgusting. Tell me about your fans. Oh, he's thinking about money. He can't think about fans. Look at that. That's the I'm making the price up on the spot face. The classic. It's a where has he put the card for me face. <laughs> Capoli's playing half a deck today. So round one's over, uh, we lose to Adam Antipater, uh, just that one break away, just couldn't see a way out of it and that uh, is what it is. <laughs> Show me. Three. Hopefully we can beat that. Four. That's a one. There's two twos. That's a one. You're blind. I've got this on video footage. That's a two and two one. There's a two under on the same back. 
This guy always trying to hustle something. Yeah, I mean that. I got a six. See, I can cheat as well. Bullshit. Round two down. Round two loss. In for Noid. Numeron. Apparently he opens wherever he likes. And uh, me over here, I don't see anything. Because I'm so fucking lucky at this game. Fuck you. Just show me that again. Stand up for a second. Look, look at that car. <laughs> that, I am scared that will flip. That's definitely going in the vlog. <laughs> definitely is going in there. This guy thinks this is his chair. Who's, whose mum was it? <laughs> Just, <laughs> ah, okay. Naming no names. So final round done that we're now in between locals because apparently we're playing two today, not as planned at all. Um, and we won against Endymion, uh, wasn't too bad, got to see the Numeron stuff. So of course, if you see that, you just win anyway. Apparently I wasn't allowed to see that in the first two rounds. So that's how that goes, no comment. Uh, so we'll report back, I guess, after round one of locals number two. And then, and then game two, was like more of the same sort of thing. So I had to just sit there for ages and just build up. I had to set imperms in his set cards things just because I'm like, if he mirror forces me, I'll probably lose here for no reason. And then eventually killed him. But So that I finally do see the engine and then I get cucked by Swords of Revealing Light and Cauldron of the Old Man gaining life points. Jam, are you okay, mate? Yeah. Can you get back up again? Okay. Just like cow tipping. <laughs> I just roll on my belly and bounce up. <laughs> Your missus isn't here to pick you up. <laughs> or to rub his belly. <laughs> Babe, get the crane. Are you, is what you're doing family friendly? No. Just look at him. Tits are getting in the way. <laughs> he is getting a bit red. You can tell he's had money today. He gets redder, doesn't he? Like Mr. Krabs. on three people, they all get crushed. a quick breath of fresh air it's getting a bit stuffy in there at the moment so uh next round down so locals number two for the afternoon because it's split into two uh so we play adam game one uh against altergeist and of course tricky matchup anyway uh, there was some really good interaction one or two misplays i made one of them uh was incorrect but i would have lost anyway so ultimately it didn't really matter but it's obviously better to get those things correct uh, the other one I'd done probably could have helped a little bit. Uh, stuff like getting your Numeron in your Numeron plays uh, torrential tributed though, when you've got memories of hope in hand, is not a good feeling. So uh, loss someone very experienced with their deck, uh, and yeah, it was one of those didn't go very much my way. So we'll see how we get them on the next round. Uh, so round two down of locals number two, we played against Ritual Beasts, probably the sweatiest game today. Uh, went on way too long, we won in time. Uh, kind of a close one to be fair. Um, interesting deck to play against, I guess. What, you want them? What are they? Hmm? Whoa, something to written off. I gave him one. You gave him one? Yeah, I don't know if those are three each. Two OTS packs and I've got two. Never give away your OTS supers, unless they're to me. Why? Because then I can make money on them. Free money. Yeah. Final round down, lost to Thunder Dragons in the end. Uh, it was okay, I guess. Better than Salaman, great, that's for sure. What are you doing, you cuck? Fuck you. 
I thought that as well. I find them Glad really it's not just me that thought that. Because there's not much in them. It's extra. Yeah, it's mad. But like 12 was really easy to open. What do we get? Shocked. Yeah. His feet. This reprint pisses me off. Can I have your scrap golem? No. What do you mean no? How dare you? That's like 10p. 20. Oh, shkiz. Second one. Shkiz. This could be the sleeper card of the set. Should all drop. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the garbage content I put together for you. Enough to hit subscribe and maybe even drop a thumbs up and a comment. Before you go, be sure to check out the links in the description to help support the people who are making this channel a possibility. Thanks again for checking in and I'll see you in the next one.